Yo, let's get Killer Squad. We're back on NBA Live Mobile, and today there is some huge news in NBA Live Mobile. They have relaunched the Team of the Week. A lot of people have been complaining about it. I mean, like a lot. Like everybody was complaining about it. So the problem with the old Team of the Week is that there was no Hero set or any set, and there was no Hero of the Month set. Last year, Hero of the Month was absolutely the craziest thing. Trying to predict all these players was absolutely amazing. So today, what they did, they reskinned it and remade it and re revamped it. So as you guys can see. Take five players to get the team of the week player, and then afterwards, if we go to the next one, shebang, you trade in four of the monthly player, team of the week player, and you get the month March player of the month, which is Anthony Davis, which is absolutely insane. So we're gonna go to the set and see what else we can do, and also open some packs. So same, same, same as usual. Twenty collectible gets you a gold player. Now this is the best part. Ten gold player gives you an elite player, and you can get five elites to get the wild card token. I'm a big fan of that. I thought I had more Team of the Week players, but apparently I don't. Now here, cool thing about this, it requires one of each player, which I can't really see, but you can check out the Steven Adam which stats, which is really cool. No bench boost, which is surprising, but he does got, gr I want to say great stats, 90 post, 90 inside, 93 dunking, scored in contact, 89 block. Offensive defensive rebound is 83, which is suspect, but you probably won't be using him because the next set you got right here, is the Anthony Davis. You throw in these 90 overalls and you get the 90 Anthony Davis, which is not out yet. Obviously, we don't know his stats. Probably going to come out at the end of the month. But it's going to be a 96 overall shooting lineup. So, we're going to talk about some of the packs that came out. Now, there's a few of them you can get. Uh, where is it? Bang. So, we're going to go Team of the Week. So, the Team of the Week packs you can get is either the 50 tokens, which is basically two gold players for 2400 Or, you can get the Guarantee Elite for 1.5k. Or, you can get 10 gold for... Um, a thousand. So it's essentially the same price. Let's think about it this way. 10 gold is one elite guaranteed. Whereas the elite one, you get one elite guaranteed plus five. So it's basically a hundred per gold player. So honestly, I think it's better to get the gold players because is it gold plus? Oh no, it's not gold plus. I thought it might be gold plus players. But we're going to do a little bit of both. See if we can pull anything good. Um, 5,000. Oh, I just, I just scratched my nose real good. So 5,000 coins maybe 10,000 10, I don't know we'll see what happens but we can spend a whole bunch of this we're gonna get the team of the week gold see what we can get I wonder if you can pull it from these I didn't say it didn't say gold plus so that's why I'm a little suspect about that wondering what is the amount we can get so I don't know I don't know at least it's unlimited coin pack so if you have a lot of coins you could actually buy a lot of these players so that's actually gonna be really neat we're gonna open probably like um, one more of these I think we're at 3,000 Bang, bang, come on. All right, so it doesn't seem you can get any elites from these. Now, we're gonna go open these. We're probably gonna open 600 worth. So you get an elite player, and you also get five gold players. So we got Bojan Bogdanovic, Bogdan, Bog, Bogdanovic, Bo, Bojan. <sighs> Names, so hard for me, so hard. All right, so we're gonna open this. We'll probably do two more, go back to one gold. But honestly, either or, at least this one guarantees an elite. We got Bam! Abed, Ab, Adiba why do you gotta give all these why do I have to pull the hard names I can't I can't do it oh wait I want to take a screenshot of this hold on hold on this pack looks sick though artwork always a good good thing like my favorite part of NBA Live is the artwork so that's actually really hands down the best part of NBA Live mobile the artwork now can we get Alonzo oh we got Bowie Bow Jump Bowie oh my god names are hard in the game for me okay guys can we get Alonzo Ball? That's what we're trying to get. We'll see how much Alonzo Ball goes for. Ooh, Kent Bazemore. I will take it. We're also going to get a, one, one more of these. We get still a bunch of other elite packs we can pull. Now, I do. I'm actually a huge fan of the wild card because a lot of times you will get a bunch of these repeats. You can either sell them or you can do the wild card. Honestly, it might be even cheaper to sell them than to make the wild cards, but we'll see. We're going to go ahead and head to our sets. We should have a bunch of golds we can trade in. A whole bunch. I might even do a, a team of the week um, pack and play. You know, just open these packs. Most of these are part of... But golly. Can we not get the same player? Just give me a Lonzo Ball. I got three of the five. I got Bam again. So let's just double check the price. Like, how much these 80 overalls and 81 overall are going compared to, like, the 84. Jabari Parker. Okay, cool. So we're missing one. We just need Lonzo Ball and we're Gucci. I don't even really need to open more if I get a Lonzo Ball, which I don't get. I probably won't get the Lonzo Ball. I think we only got one more time. But still... We got a lot of elites that we can open. Shebang, give me it. Oh my god. Alright. I see how it goes. I, I see how it goes, EA. But the, uh, let's be honest. Lonzo Ball probably gonna be super expensive. Jabari Parker was not that rare. 
We're gonna go open last team of the week pack. Hopefully it will be a great pull. Shebang, and we got Jabari Parker again. Now we got a lot of these elites, but we're getting really close to finishing him off. I think we just need Lonzo Ball, which is cool. We could finish him off worst case. Let's just check the price of Lonzo Ball, see how much he goes for and compare it, and also see the price of Steven Adams if it's cheaper just to straight up buy Steven Adams. So um, it should be a new program, right? Is this a team of the week? Nope, that's not team of the week. Uh, which is, I, I thought it would be like a new logo. Let's look at the elites though. How much are the elites going for? Ooh, they're going for like expensive. Hold on, if we go to 100K, because these were going for 100K, you need the lower ones for 100K, so their price has gone up like crazy. Holy moly. So 200K or so, 200, 200K for these team of the week elites. That's kind of crazy if you put everything considered. All things considered, about 1. Okay, 1.120k, but these are not the ones like that are in a set. So if we look at set ones, so for example, Jabari, right jab, wow. Unless it's not even the right, ooh, okay. So this is not even the right filter, but team of the week are gone up in price. All right, so let's just clear this. We'll put 80 overall Jabari Parker, see what happens. So he's going, okay, that's like 100k. So it, it's probably gonna sell for 90k or so, maybe 80k, let's see. So yeah, probably around 90K. Jabari, yeah, around 90K for Jabari. So that's not bad. Uh, Bo Boyan probably as well. Maybe more. Wow, his price is crazy. 100 something K? Dang. My God, it's like 120K or something. Let's see Lonzo, how much he goes for. Lonzo's 84 overall. Probably gonna be closer to like the mill price, 900K. So it's definitely cheaper to buy the, the Boyans. Yeah, so 900K or so, about a million. So about a million coins for Lonzo Ball, which you can, rather than buy the Lonzo Ball, you can literally just buy four, five, five Jabari Parkers for 90K, that comes with 450K. So probably better to do the wild cards. Now let's just double check how much Steven Adams goes for. I don't think there's a, there is definitely an 84 overall one, I think. Oh, lag, rip. Steven Adams. If he's mm, two mil. So you can get one for 1.5 mil. Mm, that's actually pretty good. I wonder if it's cheaper to build them. So you buy Jabari Parker, he comes to uh, 90K. You get Lonzo Ball, the elite collectible that's better. That's about 450k. That's closer to 6 million, 600k, 700k for Bojan, and then there's another 80 overall, which is probably around 90k as well. You can make him. You can make him for less, less than a, a, a 10 mil, because Jabari and uh, at the bio, at the bio is probably around 90k. You can build Lonzo and probably Lonzo Ball. You can build by the um, the uh, wild card collectible for about 450k. So like, let's just make this real quick. Let's not put Bojan. Uh, whatever, we'll pull him once, but the Bojan's going for like about 120k. I'm expecting Ken Bazemore to be about 200k or so, but even if it's not 200k, it's still cheaper to build. We're gonna put one wild card. We can actually do a second one if you want, but we will actually finish this off right here. Put him into our school. I'm probably not putting him in our squad, but we're probably gonna just use him. I might even buy this on a no money spend account. It might be very easy to make. We might even be able to make some money off of that. Now we're gonna put this into our bang. And uh, welcome, there we go. We are good, and honestly, I think it's pretty fairly cheap to make. Like, like I said, hold on, let's just check out Ken Bazemore. Cause if Bazemore costs, do some quick maths, quick maths, Kent. So it's about 700K, right? So you can buy him for about 635K, but you can probably get Bam. For about 90k. Yeah, so Bam is 90k. I mean, that's a snipe actually. So we're gonna purchase that. It's a snipe. It's a snipe. Probably 100k for this one right here. Yeah, so like 90k about, approximately 90k, a little more, a little less. And then you can also get a Jabari. 
Jabari around that price. He's probably cheaper. I saw some for 80k as well earlier. There was a bunch of them for 80k, 90k, right? You can see 99, 95, bang, 80k. So just buying those two is about 200k. Now you get Lonzo Ball. That's another 500k. Um, plus another, uh, what's the name? Um, you can buy Ken Bazemore for another 500k. And then afterwards, you can just finish it off by buying the um, Bullion for like 120k, so less than 1.3 mil, even even less if you snipe, like I snipe for 1.7, 75k. So you can definitely get them for cheaper and sell them to profit off. So I think that's actually pretty good, in my opinion. You can sell it off, get some profit. And usually their price go up during the days, like when they don't come out in packs, but that's my opinion. All right, that's it for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Don't forget to let me know in the comments down below what you guys think so far about the new team of the week. I'm actually a huge fan of it. I'm very happy about it. The last one was just, I ah, open packs. Okay, which is cool because last week we actually pulled the Ben Simmons, which is amazing. But they still should put some limited time players as well. They should do like a limited time 48 hour so that we can open packs and try to pull them. That's what I still think, I still think they should do. But anyway, can't really complain too much. They did something really good today. If you want to see my latest videos, give me on the right side of the screen. If you haven't yet, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I make videos on it daily. All right, I'm out. See you guys next time. Kill it.